hi guys welcome to my channel so this is going to be a reading for the sign of pisces pisces my readings are timed so when you see them is when you're meant to hear them please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe also please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted pisces if you wish to donate towards my channel all the links will be in the description box down below so let's see we got kitsune All right, I will show you whom to trust. So your spirit animals and your guides are now letting you know that there are people coming in and they will show you who you can trust. Then we have the angel of time. Somebody's working too hard. And that could be two of three things. <laughs> so here we go. You could be potentially working too hard. Okay. Doing too much. Somebody else could be could be potentially doing too much, way too much, going way too far, being in your business, or actually both of these things. So take it how it resonates for you. But either way, it's giving me it's time for you to sit your ass down, time to chill, time to relax, relate, release, do something that is therapeutic for your soul. Okay, the number there is 40. So angel of time, you're working too hard. And then we have Fiona and the Unicorn, the gift of sacred sight. So only a pure soul can see a unicorn. So you have the gift of sacred sight, Pisces. All right, let's see what else we got here. Also, basically, they're telling me to tell y'all, pay attention to your spirit animals. Because apparently you're not paying attention. All right. What does Pisces need to know? Give me some energy. Okay. So apparently, Pisces, a situation is being flipped around. I don't know if you saw that, but literally the cards flipped and they flip right back. So that could also mean something is straightening itself out. We have the two of wands here. Contemplation, assessing your life's direction, moving beyond your old boundaries. Contemplation. What did I say a minute ago? You're working too hard, so thinking... Um, time to relax relate release and they will show you who to trust so planning progress making decisions some discovery leaving home and travel plans getting out relax relate release maybe going to an island is what i'm hearing some type of beach um island could also mean somewhere where you're just left to your own devices by yourself but anyway moving beyond getting past something exploring that's that vibe and did you see that because that car tried to do the exact same thing so definitely something's being turned around something's being revealed some clarity is being brought in a situation there's justice there um fairness truth clarity didn't i just say something about clarity okay equality balance cause and effect Law, getting what you deserve, knowing that your actions carry consequences. The same thing is happening. What is up, Pisces? All right, something is being turned around because literally these cards are flipping and then flipping right back. Okay. Don't ask me why I got so hype. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Apparently, it's a reason to be hype. I mean, especially when things are turning themselves around, um, energy being sent back to where it came from. And basically, your life going back on track the way it should be. Blessed and highly favored. I like it. Um, karma. Okay, so bringing things back into balance. Making things the way they should be. Bringing things back into some type of fair alignment for you. All right. So this card just dropped on the ground. But what it is, is a new beginning. So you have a new beginning in your energy, but it hit the ground. So again, I'm not taking it, but... The fool letting you know maybe you could be t potentially taking some steps that others could think is foolish also. Um, listening to your instincts and doing what you want, even if you're scared. So moving beyond, again, your own, own boundaries. This is giving me the vibe of maybe you might have to travel by yourself. You could potentially be scared because maybe you never traveled by yourself. But at the end of the day, guess what? New things, new changes creates a little bit of anxiety. New changes are a little scary, but... 
it's going to work out for your best interest, for your, your highest good. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords there. Mental clarity, mental energy, uh, mental clarity. Um, so more clarity, basically. More coming in, because I literally said something about clarity. You gaining clarity behind the situation. Seeing things for what they are. A bright idea coming out of nowhere. So new ideas, new thoughts, new, new ways of thinking, Pisces. Why did this card just try to come out a minute ago? And I literally bounced it back and here it is again. So apparently, uh, like I said a minute ago, you could be feeling some type of anxious type energy for the next phase of when we don't know what things are. It could create a little anxiety, a little worry, a little, you know, whatever. But anyway, not getting any sleep or any rest pertaining to it because you feel the big energy just happening. And I just did a reading for you guys that is in the members area. And it was talking about how... Why the fuck is these cards doing that? Okay, it was talking about how... All the cards were major arcana cards and something big is happening behind the scenes. So you being carried. Okay. So something new again. So uh, put the um, little new beginning, the little fool back. And then another little fool pops out um, the page, page of cups. Um, something involving your emotions, not being afraid. So again, please, Pisces, it is time for us to move beyond our old own boundaries and our old boundaries and for us to maybe um be a little bit more explorative is what i'm gathering because maybe we're used to maybe traveling with friends family someone and this could be a solo dolo trip a solo dolo dinner a solo dolo whatever it is but it seems like it's solo dolo something new something fun something that you would not normally do is what is being brought to you okay now all right so back to inside the readings major arcana cards and something big happening behind the scenes so you feel the energy but you can't see what's happening so soon some clarity coming pertaining to this circumstance or this situation okay and making everything fair and putting things back on track the way they should this card just dropped out and it dropped out on the ground so these cards are definitely not playing um, they are really making a making a U-turn, coming right back. Um, standing your ground, Pisces, is very much important here. And also, not liking the situation at hand. So, it's giving me the vibe that you are trying to be the bigger person in this situation. But also, I'm getting the fact, uh, the, the a feeling that somebody's not letting you be the bigger person. It's almost like somebody trying to, like, I'm, I'm got their finger right by your face. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. I'm not touching you. But, but what you want me to do to you? Beat your ass? And then I'm going to be wrong. So, standing your ground, not letting nobody disrespect you, but letting people know exactly what it is. I don't like it. I don't want it. And I, I'm just over it. Creating your own destiny. And Wheel of Fortune being here, karma. We already talked about it because it fell right out over top of justice. So you getting justice for whatever has happened in this situation or the circumstances pertaining to somebody not minding their own business or somebody trying to push you in a direction. I'm getting also the feeling like somebody's going to wish they had not have done something. It's like a person thinking that they got the upper hand and then in the end they end up having to pay you. So like, that's weird. But you had already given the opportunity to take their fucking ass on. But they didn't want to do that. That was too much like the right thing to do. But because a person thinks they're clever or sneaky or just, you know, doing some shit behind the scenes, they thought they was, you know, unseen by the higher ups, which is stupid because I don't know what type of energy these people be because God sees everything. He sits high, looks low looks out and sees all the mess and the foolishness that these people be trying to get involved in and soon you're going to have to make a choice Pisces all right so we have the lovers card here is about love connections choices networking um close relationships that are in your life R romantic situations it's like being at a crossroad where now you have to make a choice. Do you want this? Do you want that? Do you want to go here? Do you want to go there? It's pertaining to your heart and soul desires. Also, about loving yourself. 
and you're reading the other thing it keeps being like self-love making sure that you're taking care of yourself making sure that you're putting things in perspective like fully in alignment with what you want where you want to go like i said you're creating a life that you desire here this is something new this is something that you have never done so at this point in time it may feel a whole lot of uncomfortable but it's definitely divinely necessary okay for where you're about to go in your next phase of your life okay okay here we go again cards dropping out on the ground i'm just gonna take it because they keep coming back even when i drop them so we got the ten of cups here and i can put it back if you want me to but literally the other cards came out too so apparently they're saying pick it up um and stop playing in a face too um ten of cups because it could be the way that i'm shuffling this throwing them on the ground anyway so ten of cups life being fulfilled um family contentment being content in love and life being supported um divine harmony blissfulness more relationship stuff so love being there and then the ten of cups it seems like to me like you're about to have a have to make a choice pertaining to another little uh a little token of appreciation so you're about to have to make a choice pertaining to your next phase your family your love life your your progression everything that you want you're gonna have to make a decision and and i hear firm so basically they saying a firm decision and know that once you make this decision this is this is where you're about to do this is what you're about to do this is the chapter that you're opening up okay so Okay, so we have two of cups and the lover. So you're about to have to make a choice. Somebody's about to enter into your life, some type of partnership. It's undoubted because of the fact that we got the two of cups and the lovers here. So some type of new connection that you're making. Again, you could choose whether or not you want it to be a friendship or a love vibe. It's up to you. But the fact of the matter is, is somebody wanting to offer you a small token of appreciation definitely on the table also learning something new the apprentice card basically because that's what that is um something that'll make you money in the future so somebody wanting to teach you something so this connection could be also like networking but i'm getting heavily strong if y'all start out as working together y'all are going to end up married okay so if that is not in your uh plans for this person <laughs> you might as well know that it's in the plans for you okay so you may already be working with this person and little do you know apparently your boaz is on your ways okay <laughs> all right so whatever it is you could be potentially trying to block the situation because of the fact that you're being emotional or they think or they could be being emotional or maybe they think you're being emotional but either way at a crossroads we got two cards literally sitting here talking about y'all being at a crossroads are you blocking something pisces let me know because if you don't want to go no further we can stop this right here right now all right i heard somebody say they was open to it <laughs> all right so we're gonna keep going for them they open to it they ain't out here saying get somebody else to do it because all i heard last week was somebody saying get somebody else to do it i'm trying to be free out here i'm trying to be for the streets <laughs> i'm cracking up i'm glad y'all have a wonderful attitude today and if you don't you will after this reading okay because don't be for the streets, please. <laughs> Especially when God got money on the table for you. Wealth, abundance, ten of pentacles. <laughs> and I hear love, attraction, <laughs> financial success, prosperity, generational wealth, divine gifts of security in all areas of your life. Bring it in. <laughs> the end of, the end of needing, the end of borrowing, the end of begging the end of poverty mindset the end of something coming to an end to start something new okay whatever you have been going through this is the end i already told y'all it's a new chapter you're about to be in a new chapter of your life i already said it but y'all had to wait for the death card to come out to tell y'all endings beginnings changes transformation 
transformation, a metamorphosis, an end of a cycle, a new phase. That is a completion and a level up in your energy. Okay, Pisces. All right, we got the last two cards. Wow. The sun and the moon. Mother and father. A couple. Again, like y'all literally keep giving me marriage and y'all. Okay, so everything is... Yes, the answer is yes. Positivity, pleasure, happiness, vitality, fun, warmth, celebration, success, rebirth, and all is well. Then we have, so it's, it's like the best of both worlds here. Night and day. You and this person could be like night and day. And y'all literally came out together. Or this also represents your yin to your yang. The best of both worlds. Okay, so lots of mystery here, lots of intrigue. Oh, y'all got good energy. Hold up, because that was different. Dreams, somebody dreaming about you, intuition, like subconscious mind, premonitions, you and this person, gifts. Like, I don't know why I'm getting the energy of y'all being out in the woods, in a field, and somebody practicing magic. Y'all got good energy. 18, 19 father and mother masculine and feminine so y'all end the reading on a good note basically or we end the reading on a good note because mother and father man and and man and woman like husband and wife and i said already over here so the ending of whatever it was that you were going through pisces you're in a new cycle uh, blessed beautiful new cycle apparently because i'm telling you only a pure soul can see a unicorn your spirit guides are telling you. They're pointing you in the right direction. Pisces, please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe. And if you wish to donate, all the links are in the description box down below. Go with God. Have a wonderful day.